Welcome to the homestead today, guys. We've been super busy canning, harvesting, getting things done on the farm. But guess what, guys? It's almost the end of August. And if you're a homesteader, you know what that means. Time to switch into winter mode. That's right. We need to start getting things ready for winter and we need to get it done now. But guys, we got a major problem here on the homestead. You guys are probably wondering why I'm wearing a bee suit. Well, I thought it was time to go ahead and move the wood pile down to our wood cellar. And guys, well, we have a really big beehive in our wood pile. And unfortunately, guys, I gotta wear this bee suit just to move the wood this year. These are just some of the things that you're gonna deal with when you're homesteading. I hope that hive isn't too big, guys, but uh, <laughs> there's thousands of bees going in and out of there. Um, apparently, we have corn. We have corn, guys. Something broke one of the corn. What? And ate it. What? Yeah, they snapped this one right off. And they ate this cob. Oh, guys, something's attacking our corn now. I just finished saying in the last video, I hope we don't lose our corn to the hurricanes. And here, we're starting to lose our corn to wild animals, probably deer. So you guys can see the bees. Look at them. They're like everywhere. Crazy. They're not happy, guys. There's like thousands and thousands of bees in this wood pile. Well, guys, I got stung. <laughs> I got stung in the hand. I was wearing those crappy Home Depot gloves and it stung right through the gloves. So now I've had to put on my welding gloves that I use for the fireplace and a rake to try and move the firewood. I stuck my hand in there and grabbed a piece of wood. And next thing you know it, I had like 50 bees all over me. Guys, this is really horrible. Now my hand hurts, but you know what? As a homesteader, you don't give up, you push on. Okay guys, I got to the hive. It is massive. Okay guys, check it out. There it is guys. There's the beehive. Oh, oh, they sense I'm here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. they are not happy at all, guys. Let's see if I can get in a little bit closer again. Okay, I got to get rid of this hive somehow. Look at it, guys. That's a massive hive in there. Check it out. Oh, man. Whoa. Those are some angry bees, guys. Was that not a massive hive or what? It could go further in the wood pile. But I gotta take that rake, guys. I gotta break it up, cause that's our wood for next year and I gotta be able to get at it. Oh, <laughs> the joys of homesteading. Look at the bees, you guys. Holy crap, they're so mad. There must be a thousand of them right there at the entrance. We gotta get this. Oh, I think he got stung. So guys, I have now been stung four times. Once in the armpit, once in the hand, and twice in the leg. I am now dressed like an Eskimo. I've got a thick jacket on, I got snow pants on, I got snow boots on, I got two pairs of gloves, welding gloves on the outside, and the bee suit which is useless by the way, cause I was wearing this full bee suit and they stung through the suit. Guys, $18 on Amazon, don't buy this suit. I don't recommend it. But guys, I gotta go in, I gotta take out that beehive. I do not wanna spray because of the chemicals on the wood. I do not wanna kill the bees. I wanna protect the bees, but I need them out of the wood guys. That's our wood for next year. Here we go guys. Oh, I got it. Don't mind me being a chicken and running away. I'm allergic to bees and I don't actually want to get stung by anything. <laughs> Seeing as we're in the middle of nowhere. Oh, they're so mad. I've already been stung four times today, guys. So I know I'm covered like I'm an Eskimo and it's minus 30. 
Man, guys, it's 30 degrees out today and this is hot. I'm just dying in this getup right now. I got a pair of jeans on, I got a snowsuit, I got three shirts on, I got a snow jacket on, I got this bee suit, I got my thermal winter <laughs> boots on. Guys, this is crazy. Oh, watch out. Oh, 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 oh. Manda almost got stung by a bee. We got to move away from the pile a little bit more, guys. This is, stung. yeah, this is, this, this is not good. This is not good, guys. <laughs> Do not mess with the bees when it's 30 degrees outside. So guys, I had to give up yesterday. After being stung a half a dozen times, I just decided, you know what? This is not smart. This morning, it's a lot cooler. It's early in the morning. They're still in there though. Even after I destroyed the nest, the bees are still trying to reform the nest. After doing some research yesterday, I found out that they're yellow jackets. They're not even honeybees. And that wood pile, that's our lifeline for next year. I have to get in there and get that wood. So we're gonna show you guys a little trick on how to get rid of these bees without using any chemicals. In order to eliminate the yellow jacket hive from the wood pile, I'm gonna use some liquid dish soap. We have palm olive because that's what we buy from Costco, but you can use any brand, it doesn't really matter. I filled up a couple five gallon buckets with a lot of soap and water with very minimal bubbles. We're gonna throw that onto the wood pile, coating their hive, and it will also stop the yellow jackets from being able to fly and the soap will actually suffocate them so they will die really quick and we'll be able to get the wood pile moved for the winter. So the goal here guys is to dump these buckets of soapy water on the wood pile and not get stung. As you can see right now, I am not wearing that bee suit I was wearing yesterday. Why? Because I returned it to Amazon. Because guys, when you get stung half a dozen times and you're wearing a bee suit, it's useless. There's no point in wearing it. But guys, I did find a bee suit that will prevent you from getting stung. Now all the beekeepers out there that are watching this video are going, yeah, right, no such thing. Stay tuned to the end of this video, guys, because I'm gonna share with you guys the bee suit that claims you will not get stung if you buy their product. So here's the plan, guys. The plan is to go in, soak the wood, and hopefully not get stung. Here we go, guys. Ugh. Ugh. So we tried to throw a bunch of soapy buckets of water at the beehive in the wood pile, guys. There's a little bit of the hive left that we weren't able to get the other day. We want to get in there and we want to get that beehive out of there. So the next step is we're going to try and use a power washer, get in there and blast those bees out. Are you ready this time to go in and take out those bees? Do I look protected? <laughs> you look hot. It's a little warm. It's, it's a little warm. I was going to say it's a little warm. Let's do this. Okay. So are you hot? Yep. Do you think we got them? Well, I don't see any more traces of a hive. I still see bees though, and that worries me, but they're gonna come and go for the next couple days and hope, yeah, and hopefully they realize the hive is gone and they make a new hive somewhere else. Exactly. You need to go get changed. I need before. to get this off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good job. So hopefully we got the bees this time, guys. We tried the soapy water. We tried a whole bunch of different things. Now we tried the power washer. If that doesn't work, we're going to have to use something else. You guys got any suggestions? Leave a comment down below. And a great recipe. I'm going to show you guys how to use these zucchinis in the kitchen. If you're like me and you got a ton of them this year, you're probably sick of having zoodles and fried zucchini and stir fry. So I'm going to show you another trick to use these up. We just got the call. We got to go. They're ready. What? They're ready now? Yes, they're ready. Well, okay, let's go. We appear to be in the truck again. Where are we going? to get something that you purchased like two months ago. Did I buy something? <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> I may have ordered some chickens. And the reason we had to wait two months for them is because the chickens that I ordered are already laying eggs. So when we can add them to our flock, they're already gonna be laying for us and we don't have to wait for them to grow up for four or five months before we get any eggs. And we're almost there. Are you excited? Don't we already have enough eggs in our no, fridge? No, never. Can you have enough eggs? I don't think there's such a thing. There's never too many chickens and there's never too many eggs. Hopefully they're here.
I'm waiting to see if the truck is in the parking lot. We're turning the corner. So one of the questions we get asked often is where can people buy already laying hens? Now there are a lot of options in the Moncton area for feed stores and pretty much all of them sell already laying hens. They do it a couple of times a year. The feed store that we get ours from is called Clarence's Farm Services Limited and this is their last set that they have available for this year but if you do contact your local feed store you can probably get in on next year's order. They usually have them come out in June and then again in August. August. So I'm gonna head inside and see if our birds are here. You guys can see the birds just inside there. Are you ready? <laughs> we should have brought some gloves because they're gonna be handing the chickens to you one at a time barehanded. There's one black one. There's supposed to be three, but they, the uh, supplier shorted the feed store here. So we're only getting one black one today. And a white one. Hey, don't we have already one of those already? <laughs> oh, that's right, it's a rooster, I forgot. <laughs> Didn't you get any brown ones? Oh, black and white. Ah. And there we go, guys. Now we're gonna head home and introduce these chickens to our other flock. So we just picked up our chickens. We have to wait on two of them until October because the manufacturer shorted the store and they're not very happy about it. There's gonna be a lot of angry people picking up their chickens today. But as we were leaving, a vehicle pulled up beside us and the lady said, excuse me, are you on YouTube? And I said, yes, we are. She said, we watch you all the time. So it's nice to see you guys. If you ever see us out in public at the feed store or Home Depot or anywhere, definitely feel free to come up and say hi. We love meeting everybody who watches our journey and follows us along. We made it home with our chickens. We're gonna have a look and see how they did on the ride. They're definitely quiet in there, so I hope that's a good thing. <laughs> They're all snuggled They're all up. Snuggled together. So we got three white and one black for now yeah and why is that again the supplier shorted the store there was an order they had 40 people order the black chickens and the supplier brought them 10. <laughs> and this is the same supplier that took a load of chickens back in was it june, june? june. to our country feed store yeah. and what happened there all the chickens died because the reefer on the trailer that was carrying the chickens overheated and it shut down and the chickens basically cooked inside the trailer so that was kind of sad. So the feed stores in town are trying to make up for the lost chickens back in June because they have a bunch of angry customers, meaning now we kind of lose out a little bit because yeah. we're shorted chickens because the previous load of- was short. So they took what they had and they gave it to some of the people that were waiting longer since June. And now they told us we have to wait till the end of October to get our other two black chickens. <laughs> so we got to go back to town in October to pick up more chickens. Yeah, when it's probably going to be snowing. So <laughs> that'll be fun. Hopefully not. No, fingers <laughs> crossed. Snow doesn't have until November uh, here. Yeah, it's still going to be and cold. It's going to be a good year this year. Not much snow this year. I know. But we still have to get these guys settled in. Now we're not adding them right into our flock right away. We're going to quarantine these guys because we don't know where they came from, what kind of conditions they were held in, what they were fed, things like that. We want to make sure that they're not sick so that they don't infect our flock. So we are going to put them into a brooder to quarantine them to make sure that they're healthy before they get integrated into the rest of the flock. So I got the chickens brooder quarantine all set up. I have some calcium in there for them, some high quality laying pellets. We have no idea what they were being fed, but their combs are very pale. 
So we want to make sure that they get some good quality organic feed into them so they're nice and strong and good for laying. Everything here is set. We're going to get them moved over and see how they are in their new area. One. You can see how pale their comb is. They just probably haven't been fed the best. But we're going to change we're gonna that. Get that fixed right up. because they had a really rough day. They went from where they were born to a truck, to a feed store, to a crate, now to here. So we're gonna let them de-stress for a bit and relax. So while the chickens are getting accustomed to their new home, I thought I would show you guys this bee suit. I was talking about it earlier in the video, the suit that claims that you will not get stung if you wear their product. I know there's a lot of beekeepers out there that are looking for an alternative because their suit just doesn't give them the protection that they're looking for. So let's jump into my computer and let's have a look at it, guys. So here's the site here, guys. It's called oldcastlefarmhives.com. And you guys can see they offer a whole wide range of products from bee supplies to now clothing. And we'll just scroll through here. We'll go down. They ship worldwide. And we'll go into the clothing section here. And you can see the bee suits that they offer. Now, new for 2020, they claim, is the bee suit that's designed for women, which is really cool because there's a lot of women out there that are getting into beekeeping. The suit that really caught my eye was the pest control suit that they have, which is way down at the bottom here. This one here in particular, we'll just click on it and we'll get into the specs of it. This is what the suit looks like, guys. And they claim that this suit will protect you. You will not get stung by bees. Now, these prices, as you guys can see here, are, are in Euro dollars. So you gotta take that into consideration. I have not found a company in North America that sells this style of suit that claims to protect you as much as this suit does. But we're just going to scroll through here. It has a huge write-up about this suit. And it claims that it will protect you from pretty much everything from wasps to yellow jackets. Here's the key features of it. You guys can just have a quick look here. I'm not going to touch into too much detail about these individual suits. You guys can definitely head over to their website if you're interested and check it out a little bit closer. Um, these guys didn't sponsor us. They didn't send us a product. They didn't reach out to us. I just came across these guys searching after you guys saw I got stung several times looking for a protective suit that would keep me safe. Now these guys take Visa, MasterCard, PayPal. They take pretty much everything. So we'll just head back here. But they also make suits, you can see here, they make suits for kids. So if you wanna get your kids into beekeeping, they do offer suits for children. They have gloves. And they also have a top part to a bee suit. So if you don't want the full suit, you can see here on the left that they just have the jacket part, which is 94. 99 in euros so they also have just the hat also you can see beside the jacket there you can buy just a hat but i don't see too many people buying just a hat i mean if you're looking at their products you're looking at the full suit here like you can see the centennial pro 2 beekeeping suit for 139.99 to 219.99 um, that's a suit that you'd probably want to consider if you are getting into beekeeping and say you have an allergic reaction to bees and you don't want to get stung. These guys claim that this suit will protect you. So I just wanted to share this with you guys. Again, it's oldcastlefarmhives.com. They are a European company. Um, they have an email, you can reach out to them. They have a phone number, you can reach out to them. 
I will put a link in the description down below to their page so you guys can just quickly click on it and check out what I'm showing you so you guys can get into a little bit more detail if you are interested in this but I just wanted to share this with you guys so if you guys that are beekeepers are watching this and you've tried the Senio Pro 2 beekeeping suit, leave a comment down below. Let me know. Does it work? Do you like it? If you guys have found another product that does work similar to this bee suit, also leave a comment down below so that I can check it out. But it's time to head outside and it's time to collect those eggs for today. We came out to check on the new chickens and see how they're settling in and we're also going to collect eggs because we haven't done that yet today. It's been a crazy busy day on the farm between the beehive and Steve getting stung and collecting things from the garden and picking up the chickens. Just haven't had a chance to check today. Let's have a look and see how many eggs the girls have left us. Looks like a good egg day today. Got two here. Two here. Good thing I brought the basket today. Another one here. And three more in this one. That's definitely a good egg day. Looks like we got one egg from each girl today. And hopefully in the next week or so, we're gonna start seeing some more eggs from these girls over here. That's definitely gonna up our egg production and we'll have more than enough to keep us going through this winter. Thanks so much for hanging out with us today, guys, on our crazy day on the farm between Steve getting stung by the bees and picking up our new chickens. Don't forget, if you see us around town, please come up and say hi. We love to hear from you guys. Anytime you see us, definitely come up and say hi. We'll see you guys in the next video. As always, thanks for watching.